The pair got involved in a heated debate, with a caller dismissing claims of Russia's involvement in the attempted murder of former Russian double agent Sergei Skripal in Salisbury. Mr. Skripal and his daughter Yulia remain in critical conditions following a targeted attack with a Russian-produced nerve agent on March 4, after listening to David defend the Kremlin from claims of involvement in the attack, Mr. Dale hit back, branding the man a disgrace to the country, the radio host said, do you know what? I'm getting sick and tired of having people like you on my program who just want to believe everything that I now refer to almost as an enemy state. LBC get a Russia news, Ian Dale branded caller David A. Disgrace for defending Russia, you will put their government ahead of believing our government. You're a disgrace to your country David. Earlier this week Prime Minister Theresa May revealed that preliminary investigations showed that Russian involvement in the Skripal case was highly likely, and latest announced the expulsion of 23 Russian diplomats from Britain. The LBC presenter continued, Why is it that people like you David always give the Russians the benefit of the doubt? I look at their track record and lying is what they've done for the last five or six years on international affairs, on these kinds of murders, on virtually everything. They have lied through their teeth. Why are you assuming that we lie and don't tell the truth? You're a disgrace to your country. David Ian Dale caller David argued that Russia would not benefit from the attack and President Vladimir Putin would not be so stupid as to authorize an attempted murder weeks before a new election. He said, I just don't believe this conspiracy theory Russia was behind it. Who benefits from all this? There's no way that Putin and the Russians would be doing this sort of thing a few weeks before the elections and a few weeks before the World Cup. Why would they do such a stupid thing? They're not stupid, they're not stupid. MPs have urged the Prime Minister to consider pressing allies to join England and withdraw from the World Cup 2018 being held in Russia to send a stark message to Russian President Vladimir Putin. Ministers are understood to be keen to demonstrate that Britain is a democracy where the government does not tell sporting organization and other civil bodies what to do in contrast to the dictatorial behavior of President Putin's regime.